Hi, thanks for joining us. My name is Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. Our website is sis4teachers.org. We're so happy that you joined us today to look at level two of bump times 100. If you haven't played level one, check it out on our website. If you're unfamiliar with the regular multiplication bump games, you can try doing our bump times 10 as students start to learn how to multiply with uh, larger numbers. Our bump times 100 game is played very similar. 10 counters of clear counters of each color. My friend has 10 blue, I have 10 red. We have a set of six sided dice. In this game, if you roll doubles, you get to go again. We're gonna start off by rolling and seeing if we can play this with a level two idea. I have six plus six. Six plus six is 12. What is 12 times 100? That's kind of a lot. It's 1,200. I could either put one counter on the 1,200 or I could decompose what I rolled and do six times 100 and six times 100. If I, if I did six times 100 plus the six times 100, I end up with 1,200. The product I'm looking here is for 1,200, but I only can get rid of one counter. So I'm gonna find if I can use these separated Kind of decompose those and do six times a hundred plus six times a hundred. I know that I could do six hundred plus six hundred, which is going to get me my twelve hundred. I have crowned the six hundred, so now it is unbumpable. If my partner used, needs to use six hundred or myself during the game, it's unfortunately not going to be able to be used. I ended up rolling a double, so I get to go again. I have four times two. Four times two is a hundred. I'm sorry, four times two is six, times 100 is 600. I don't have an option of using the 600, but I could decompose that six into what's showing on the dice. So I could do four times 100, which is going to get me 400, plus my two times 100, which is going to be 200. In this case, 400 plus 200 still totals my product, but I kind of like it because I can get rid of two of my counters. My partner's gonna go ahead and roll. They have four. Two plus two is four. So they have a few options. One option is to go ahead and just put their one single counter on the 400 and bump me. I think my partner has a different idea. He would like to take the two times 100, which is 200, Two times 100, which is another 200, still totals the sum of 400. They bumped me off, plus he has crowned the 200, so he now owns it. He ended up getting double, so he gets to go again, which is an advantage to end up getting rid of more counters. He has four plus four. Four plus four is eight, times 100 is 800. One option would be able to put it on the 800. The other option, oh no, is to put it on 400 plus 400. The reason why he did that is because four times 100 is 400. Four times 100 is another 400, which totals the 800, but was able to bump me off. Now my partner has four counters on, and I only have two, and guess what? He got doubles, so he gets to go again. My partner rolled this time and ended up getting six plus three. Six plus three is nine. Nine times 100 is 900. The other option would have been to do six times 100 in level two or three, but the problem is our 600 is taken. So that's not an option to do just half. He has to do the total, which would be the 900. This game would continue playing with bumping and or crowning until one of us is completely out of counters. In level two, remember, you can do the sum times the hundred, or you can do either number that you rolled decomposed with the four times a hundred, three times a hundred, as long as you're totaling the product. The most counters you can put down in this game is two. If you're strategic like my partner, you can bump and crown and get rid of more counters a lot faster than your partner. If you like this game, you should check out our YouTube channel on how to play Bump Unlimited times 100 because the options are limitless as far as how many of these you can use based on how you can decompose the product that you created. 
Make sure you check us out at sis4teachers.org.